Hello, this is Frank with the 12 Gates. And in this video, we are going to look at um, a software that I used to use a long time ago. I say a long time ago, about a couple of years ago. And I used to use it for studying Bible prophecy, but I don't do prophecy analysis anymore. I'm more into scripture. And I've been through a number of these softwares, and they're all very good, but for me, the one that seems to work for me, I use Linux. If you use Linux, I think this version is only available for Linux and Windows. If you want to get, there is a similar version available for Mac, but, you know, Mac OS, but it's, I think it's given a different name. Um, for some reason, they, they don't seem to have it. But this one is called Xiphos, X-I-P-H-O-S. I'll leave the website links and all that in the description and it's a very good software as you can see i'm at matthew one and how i've labeled it labeled it is i've just split the actual bible verses are on the left and on the right i've got the treasury of scripture knowledge and then underneath here you get all the cross references what you get at the beginning, normally at the beginning of each chapter, is a breakdown of what the actual chapter is all about. Um, if you go into the left-hand side, you can see the biblical texts. You can use parallel standard view. There's so many different languages you won't believe. I think Afrikaans and all sorts, you know, Dutch, English, German. Um, I've got English, and I've only got one Bible in there. This is the KJV, King James Version, 1769. And as I've said in my previous video, the 1769 is basically all the typographical areas removed from the 1611 version. Essentially, it's a 1611 with all the mistakes, spelling mistakes and all the rest of it removed. And the original meaning is, is left intact. Um, it mentions on the top there Strong's numbers. And I haven't got that window up at the moment, but you can get, you know, the Strong's numbers to come up on um, various things like, say, Husband, Angel, Dream, Holy Ghost, you know, that sort of thing. The numbers will come up. They're normally a four-digit number. There's Strong's numbers for, um, and they go into more detail of what the actual meaning of that word is and how that it was arrived at, how it was used in the Bible. But I, I tend to stay away from that. I just accept the translation as it is. But, yeah, you can get every single version of the Bible out there, the NIV, the um, English Standard, American, whatever. You know, all the different versions out there, the Derby, the is it Young's, and, uh, you know, you've got some of the, a lot of the older ones are out there, and quite a few of the new ones. I think the Message, you may get that, the Good News Bible, these things, but the, most of them, they're pretty much derived from uh, the NIV, you'll find. But yeah, so that's my basic layout I use. I mean, I'll give you a demonstration. So say we go to the beginning, this one here, you click on it, what happens is it lights up in green. And then what happens is you get the cross references come up, which is quite interesting. And it's amazing the stuff that comes up. If we go to say Isaiah, you just click on that. You get all the cross references come up that are here genesis 2 4 5 1 i mentioned here 5 1 isaiah 53 8 if we just click on isaiah 53 8 um if you look at that the book of the generation of jesus christ the son of david the son of abraham and here's a cross reference he was taken from prison and from judgment and she shall declare his generation for he was cut off out of the land of the living for the transgression of my people was he stricken yeah and that's isaiah talking about he mentioned jesus many times didn't he um, but you know we can go into I oh, know this one Psalms what's this Psalms eighty nine thirty six. His seed shall endure forever, and his throne as the sun before me. Yeah, I mean you'll find, especially Matthew, you know the crucifixion, and I think the Olivet discourse, and say Matthew one the birth you'll find that there's so many cross-references come off there. And it's, it's a fascinating journey what you go down. Um, but yeah, 
That's what I'm saying. You just click on each one and the verse comes down below there. But this is what I used to use. And it's an amazing bit of software. Um, it takes a bit of a while to, uh, to, to fire up. But uh, I've got a... Well, you know, it's not that old a laptop, but it takes a while. It's quite a heavy thing. But the search is something I always... I, I love the search on this. I mean, if I type in Lord, I think I did a recent video and I said... Lord comes up over 6,000 times mentioned in the Bible. Yeah, If we actually put that up, you see the search bar goes across, and there you go. It comes up every single time the Lord is mentioned. If you go down the bottom here, it says 6,781 matches. 6,781. That's how many times it comes up, yeah? And you can have fun and games with that. You can go on such a... It's such an amazing Bible study tool, it really is. You'll learn something. I mean, I learned a lot when I did the prophecy stuff. But I mean, at the end of the day, if you're thinking of setting up a channel, and I did do a video on this recently, you know, giving people a gentle kick up the rear quarters. If you're leaving good comments, you know the Bible reasonably well, then, you know, get yourself out there. And this is the thing. You don't have to actually appear in the videos like I'm here. You can just, people will come. If you know what you're talking about and you've got this tool here, I used to get, sometimes tens of thousands of views on some of these videos once they've been out there for some time people look and they're, and they're fascinated by the screen recording and you can see the word there and then they can see what you're doing you know and it's like being in a classroom online you know it's a fantastic bible study tool and certainly i would say it's a good basis for starting a, a channel i do prefer the hard copy but the hard copy you can't do a search like i don't know let's put in um how many times has the word angel come up? Say, for example, angel. There it comes up 289 times. It's mentioned in Genesis 16:7, And the angel of the Lord found her by a fountain of water in, in the wilderness, by the fountain in the way to Shur. You can have amazing fun and games with um, this software. And like I said... You can you can add other things to it. Um, you can, if you look at the top bar here, there's just one there. You can add something there. You can add another another verse on the top there, and we could go to say Matthew. I don't know Matthew twenty five, the virgins and the lamps. Yeah, <clears throat> and then you can add another one on the top row say we do Matthew I don't know 27 say so we just go down to Matthew 27 add that on the top yeah and then you can see again Christ is delivered bound to Pilate I mean chapter 27 is the crucifixion isn't it 25 is the the, the virgins and the lamps and there's some other parables there as well Matthew 1 is the birth and like I said you can just flick from one screen to another You've got all the cross references there. It's a fantastic bit of kit, this. And it, I'm just scr scratching the surface. Like I said, the search, there's modules. I've got this one down here is, is just completely empty. You could put Strong's numbers in there. You could put maps in there. You can also get commentaries. If we go into the actual things that I've actually got on there, this is the module manager. <laughs> And basically, this software is linked to the S.W.O.R.D. projects. And what happens is you get all your stuff there. It's got a warning on the bottom here. If you live in a persecuted country, use with care. I mean, I've used it in the UK. I've had no problems. But you need an internet connection for that. And, and you can get every single version of the Bible. You can get maps. You can get um, Bible dictionaries, Bible encyclopedias. It becomes such a powerful resource, you know, books written by men on the Bible that, you know, give their translation of it. Like I said, the cross-references, all this. It's a, it's a really is an amazing software, and the, the biggest thing is it's free. It doesn't cost a penny. Yeah, I strongly recommend this, and you could use this as a basis for setting up a channel. You know, if you want to do Bible study, it's, it really is. You know, you can highlight in different colours. You can um, say bookmarks. I mean, I've got some bookmarks here. What did I bookmark? What is the gospel? There you go. 
and let's get that up and there it is the gospel first corinthians 15 1 to 4 which is just here and actually we've got the strong numbers that just come up you can see just down here Yeah, there's some brief descriptions there and that's it people it's just a short video I strongly recommend this it's for, like I said it's only for Linux and Windows you get it from Xiphos I think it's Xiphos.org I'll leave the link in the description and this software is absolutely amazing and I've just scratched the surface here but you know you can yeah, change the, the, the width of these panes you can have that narrow you can have that wide yeah you can have strongs numbers i mean you can type in different strong numbers here say five two six seven well, it's not coming up at the moment is it but uh there are five six two three and you know you can i used to use the strongs numbers i used to use the um treasury ascription knowledge which is like the cross references and all the rest of it and you combine that with the actual Bible verse here and it, it's, it's just fantastic piece of kit it really is it's free and there's so much stuff there's other versions of this but I just like the colors of this and it just seems to it just seems to work you know it's a very you can clear your history you can bookmarks as I said different views you can have a dictionary in there also it does a read aloud yeah you can you can actually have this to read to you all sorts of stuff and if there's interest in this video i'll make another one i'll, I'll go into it but I think an essential study aid, but it's more for studying, you know, this rather than for reading. If you're going to read, I do use another one. It's called Wide Margin, which is just a basic text thing. And it's got a search function on there. And that's it. It's, um, but like I said, these, these softwares, they're so powerful compared to, say, you know, the, the hard copy. You know, trying to, say how many words, you it'll take you forever to go try and find how many words, how many times the Lord or Lord is mentioned in the Bible. We know it's 6,700 6, and it took, how long did it take? Two seconds. It would take you days, maybe months to, to, get, to find that word that number of times, isn't it? Yeah. And that's it, people. Anyway, this is Frank of the 12 Gates, just showing you my software. And keep your eyes firmly fixed on the Lord. Keep your eyes firmly fixed on the Word. And peace, love and joy.